So hi everybody, uh, I'm Gavin. Uh, I work with computers. And apart from that, my hobbies include underwater golf and enterprise agile frameworks. Uh, obviously the first one is a bit ridiculous. Uh, now before we carry on, I can see some people in the audience who I work with or used to work with and uh, on the stream at home as well. And for the avoidance of doubt, none of this is about you or your company. It's about that other place I worked at before. <laughs> so like all the best stories, this starts with a website. And the website had a lot of features, and the developers were adding more and more features every day. But for compliance reasons, only the senior lead developer could make changes to the real website. And he did this maybe once a week, at 4 o'clock on a Friday, which was the only time he wasn't in a planning meeting. But then one day, the senior lead developer decided he'd had enough of planning meetings and went to pursue his passion. I'm ahead of artisan cheese making. <laughs> and this left us in a quandary. Suddenly, we were unable to make changes to our website. The only way out of our predicament was to summon the Enterprise Agile consultants. <laughs> so the first thing the consultants said, well, not the first thing, the first thing after we paid for the feasibility phase and the discovery phase, the first thing was that what we needed more than anything else was an Enterprise Git branching model. Now, some of you may have noticed that this is a cherry tree. And this is deliberate. This reflects how easy it was to collaborate by cherry picking our changes between these branches. And with Terraform, we could create a separate environment for every one of these branches so our developers could test their changes in isolation before merging, or even before cherry picking, which avoids all those problems with merge. But despite all of this, every time we made a change to the site, something seemed to go wrong. In fact, we had to add another column to our board called Dev Done so that we wouldn't lose our velocity bonuses. Clearly, what we needed was an enterprise agile transformation. So we restructured the resources into squads and tribes and uh, the other one. And one of the junior resources did say there was another article on Spotify's site, something about testing. But due to our agility and speed, we didn't really have time for that. So sadly, she ended up being one of the resources impacted by the transformation. <laughs> now one day, the guild master of DevOps went to a conference like this and came back talking about something called Kubernetes, which would solve all of our deployment problems. <laughs> but, but due to the unique nature of our business, we had to host Kubernetes ourselves on our own hardware in our data center and deploy our website using something called Tekton. And all of this had to be integrated with our enterprise change management solution that the old CTO bought, and we just spent a year and a half and five million quid rolling out. And all of this proved to be a bit too much for the DevOps Guild, who, before they were called the DevOps Guild, had been changing toner cartridges and resetting passwords and facilitating yoga workshops. <laughs> so who could the DevOps Guild turn to for help? them again. And with their help, the resources played the tickets and action the deliverables. And when we reached the final milestone, we had an enterprise cloud-native YAML platform that was the envy of everybody at the DevOps Days Invitational Golf Tournament. Um, maybe you guys weren't invited. It was for the execs. But still, for compliance reasons, all of the GitOps had to be signed off by the now acting senior lead developer, which was important as it made her accountable for everything that went wrong. And all this accountability led to more meetings, so that the only time she had to log in to the service portal to authorize the GitOps was at 4 o'clock on a Friday. So in the end, she left to pursue her dream of joining the Enterprise Agile Park Consultants, <laughs> so she'd never have to ship anything again. And as for us, well, we struggled to find another acting senior lead developer. So in the end, the CTO had to put down the clubs, log into the server, and do the deployment himself. Now, they only gave me five minutes, and obviously I had enough material for a week-long seminar about this. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little picture, or this executive summary of our journey into CI CD.